What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Oh, today we are showing Project B5 some love with some red coil packs and a full tune up. <laughs> Excuse the mess, but here's what we picked up. Got some red coil packs for Project B5, as well as a new filter and some new coils. I need to get this car on the road sooner rather than later, so I need to, uh, you know, kind of start doing all the maintenance that needs to be done on this car. Uh, I made an order with ECS, so they're going to be sending over valve cover gasket and um, a coolant flange for the back so I can stop that uh, coolant leak. I received the coolant uh, flange but I have not received the valve cover yet so we can't do everything all together. I don't want to have to disassemble this and then have to assemble it again later. So let's get to it. This should be a pretty simple job. have to do is just unplug all the harnesses, pull back on this and pull that off, pull back on this, pull that off. There we go. That gets the harness out of the way. Now these coil packs should pop up pretty easily. There we go. That looks ugly. It's all dark and looks like it's got a little bit of oil in it or whatnot. So there you go. These coil packs are pretty old, or at least they look like they're pretty old. Engine is pretty dirty. It looks like no one ever cleaned it except me. Look at that. Look at that. That one definitely has some oil in it a lot of it too so this valve cover gasket definitely has to go but i'm not going to be running the car uh, yet until i fix everything this one looks a little dirty too and very grimy so got to get the uh, spark plugs out so i'm going to grab my spark plug socket and uh, start screwing these off this should be a 15 millimeter i believe spark plug socket and that is actually very loose that's not a good thing. Look at that. That looks disgusting. I think all of them are going to be in this same sort of condition. So definitely need to tune up. These things are so loose, guys, that I can literally unscrew them by hand. That is not a good sign. Whoever had these running... Definitely left them all loose. Let's take a quick look at these coils. They look terrible. Full of oil. That valve cover gasket definitely needs to go. I'm gonna try to use this rag to clean up as much as I can in there. That's disgusting. Gonna be careful to drop these very slowly. These are pre-gapped. So I'm not really worried about the gapping right now. All right. And we're going to tighten these by hand. And we'll give this thing one squeeze. Right there is good. Make sure that I'm not leaving my magnet. Alright. That's all done. So, what we gotta do is slap on the new coil packs and plug these back up. These things look pretty cool and they look even better on top of this engine. It's gonna be a nice little accent. So we're gonna slap these in, push it through until you hear the click. And then the last one. Make sure you push them all the way down until you hear a click. All right, so this is all done. Let's get to the uh, air filter side and remove that. Check this out, guys. That looks a whole lot better than it did before. This one keeps pushing up a little bit. Maybe a little pressure in the cylinder, but it's uh, looking nice. Now, let's take this guy off. 
and get to the air filter, which is in this box. Thanks first. Got to pop this whole cover off. Now this thing has a few clips right here. And then this should pretty much just slide open. And I should be able to get this out. That, my friends, is a terrible looking filter. Check that out. Completely clogged. Filled with all kinds of stuff. I wonder when was the last time anyone ever changed this. And look at that, that's ripped all together. So let's grab the new one, slap it on, close this up, and close out this video. These two clips here need to go back where they're supposed to be. Here's one, and then there's another one on the inside. Down here, that's done. Get this cover back on. And we're all set. Now let me clean up my mess. Now you may be wondering, what are the plans for Project B5? Because I am doing some work to it. Honestly, I just want to keep it as a very reliable um, winter driver and uh, daily driver. So that way I stop putting so many miles on my Mark 7 and uh, start putting it on that. So in order for me to do that, I need to make sure that all the maintenance is 100%. It looks like the last guy who had it really didn't do much. So I have to kind of, you know, go through and make sure that everything's tightened up. I might even go as far as doing a timing belt on this car. Um, I'm not sure yet. I have to inspect it. Uh, definitely needs a new cat. So I may just say screw it and put a test pipe in there just because it's the least expensive option. I don't want this to be an expensive thing. I got the car for 600 bucks and uh, I put maybe $200 into it and uh, I should be able to get it running 100%. So I'd have a running car for $800 that's really worth like two grand. You know, anywhere around 1,800 to two grand. Especially after I'm done with doing everything I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take care of all the maintenance, I'm gonna fix the body work myself, and uh, possibly, maybe I need your opinion on this guys, but I think I may use the blue wrap that I have upstairs on this car instead and leave Project Mark 7 not wrapped until next spring because the summer season is pretty much almost over and uh, I don't see why I would put a wrap just for the winter I mean besides protecting the original paint but that's not what I wanted I wanted to win some shows so I think what I'm gonna do is get a different color wrap for Project Mark 7 use the blue on this car and get some nice wheels so that I can drive back and forth um, probably won't stage it if anything stage one plus but if I put a test pipe in there uh, I'm really not trying to do too much to this car but this is what we car guys say well, I'm not gonna do anything and I end up doing too much so anyways guys thank you very much for watching this weekend we will be at a show with the GTI so hopefully I get to win a trophy I'd love to win something this uh, this year to carry on to next year Wow, it's really hot. So, see you guys in the next one. If you guys are not following me already on Instagram, make sure you follow me down below. Uh, the link and all of that stuff is always in the bottom. Peace out.